Hi guys, it's Annie Moon here. We are looking at Gabby. Um, she went to get spayed today, which I was very concerned because the last week she had been licking her belly. She got a rash going and she got swollen. Um, Keats. And, uh, started to get kind of scabby that rash and it was red and she just lick 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 because it's itching and hurting her and stuff I cover her back up she likes that and uh what they said where you going oh baby they said she had pyometria pyometria which uh long story short her uterus was full of pus had she waited much longer, it would have uh, bursted and poisoned her and killed her. Um, I said, well, what did you, in why did you spay her then? I mean, at first I didn't know what they were talking about. And they said, well, it, it saved her life because that's what the surgery would have had to have been anyway. So just by chance, they said, uh, we got it all. We, we do firmly believe that we have it all. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, and caught it <coughs> in time. So this is the first night. She's not too dopey. I'm, it's about 2 in the morning. I'm about to give her a little tiny piece of an aspirin. They had given her pain medicine before she left the hospital. And um, she come home, pretty good appetite. She took her first antibiotic, larped it up with some uh, little Chef Boyardee uh, little meatballs, about three or four. And she even wanted some more SpaghettiOs about an hour later. So she ate and larped up her little capsule with it. No problem. You got to be really serious about the uh, antibiotics. Um, yeah, that pyrometrius uh, death sentence. Uh, Anybody listening to this, please get your females spayed. I mean, if, if they're not a breeding dog, just take the uterus out. This would never happen. It's a painful death if it bursts. I'm looking at my one spayed dog. Got my spayed kitty. She just took off somewhere. Poppy got spayed. Her baby got spayed last month. Chloe Spade, all these girls, I've got all girls, they're Spade. Um, just, just take and get them Spade and get their uterus removed because it's like appendicitis. I'm um, if it bursts, and you know how painful that is. It's like hard labor. So, Spade, please Spade. You don't want to see your animal go through it. Now, she wasn't to the stage. See, it happens about five, six weeks after they went in heat, and she was in heat about a month ago I thought and heat again because of where the swelling was, you know I said I really don't think she ought to have surgery well come to find out that's exactly what she needed and if you want to prevent this get them spayed and you, uh, about a month two months after a heat if they have a discharge or um, you know real lethargic and listless and just, just take them straight and get them spayed get them checked out because once it hits you don't have much time over and out guys good night see night papa see we're glad to have Gab gabby home you're glad to have gabby home now we'll pray that the antibiotics just uh keep the you know any infection that might have gotten her blood and take it out we'll pray for her